Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Logan coming at you from Hunting Pros, and welcome back to another video. Now I know it's long overdue, but tomorrow I'm heading out on a snowshoe hare hunt with my buddies Don and Chris. I'm bringing my two dogs, Twiggy and Target, and Chris is bringing a few of his dogs. And hopefully we have some hounds ripping and tearing and baying on some hares. But, not to sound like a downer, but this season has been a real struggle, to be quite honest. The snowshoe hare population is drastically down in my regular spots. And the past few times I've gone out, I basically just gave my dogs a run. Um, there's really not a ton of hares around, and the ones that are around, I'm trying not to shoot, um, just to help the population for next year. I know hares go in cycles, so help, hopefully within the next couple of years, uh, the population's back up again, and we'll be able to uh, really have some successful hunts. But I'm very hopeful that tomorrow we're heading to an area where there is a healthy population. Last season, Chris and I went to this spot, and we had a great day. Um, I believe we shot over 10 hares and we didn't even touch a quarter of the amount of thickets that's there. Um, and there were strays everywhere that the dogs weren't even barking on. So I know there was last year a really healthy population of hares there. So we're gonna head back, we're gonna hit that area and hopefully we have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please slap the like button and also subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks. <music>after about a 45 minute chase i think don just shot that hair so uh it, it, it wasn't running perfectly straight or in circles i was kind of running a bunch of different lines but he must have uh narrowed it down and got him um while i was standing up around that bend back that way um i did see a stray one that the dogs weren't on hop across the road so uh, we're gonna try to put the dogs on that up in here up in here, no, here? it was right up in here somewhere yeah I mean, that was like 10 minutes ago, but... It's okay, that freaking wood that's sent through today, that you didn't hang him up. There, you got him. Look, right there, you locked right on. Scent lock, scent lock. Scent lock, yeah. Well, look at that. Wasn't that nice of him? Don left his hair on my tailgate. You got one? Yeah. He's going to cross right up there. came right along through here last oh. time. Hopefully it makes the same mistake again. <laughs> Didn't quite come through here, but he jumped out to the road. Can't ultimate fast lead. Good dogs, there he is, there he is, here, here, there he is, there he is. This guy still has some brown in him. I thought he was gonna come right to the edge of the road because that's what he was doing. And uh, I seen something flash in the corner of my eye and I look and he was ran right up to the middle of the road and then tried to run back in and I, I nailed him on the road. Well, that brings us up to two hairs so far. Um, for kind of a season where the population's down, uh, we're actually doing okay this morning. So hopefully we can get up a couple more. Making Lunchables on the hood of my truck over here. <laughs> well, we just finished our lunch and uh, we're going to head back in the woods and try to get a couple more. Got him.
Good dogs, good dogs, good dogs. Good dogs. There he is. Hey, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Good dogs. Got him? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There oh boy. You go. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah. That's enough. <laughs> well guys, we're up to four hares now. I shot two and Don shot two. Um, I put my two dogs away um, and we got some fresh new dogs in the woods uh, just to keep uh, the speed up and whatnot chasing these hares. They just started another one and they're pretty hot on the track. So hopefully uh, we get a fifth one. Well, sorry about the dirty screen, but as you can see, the uh, hairs circle quite a few different times. And it's actually crossed this little road that I'm on four or five different times. So we're trying to track down where it's going and uh, hopefully it makes the same mistake twice. Well, I just heard three shots, so I'm assuming the hair is down. I'm not really sure who shot it, um, but the dogs aren't barking anymore. So anyway, I'm assuming that makes number five. Well, Chris got that last one, so that is five. Just to shed light on what I'm using for a gun, guys, this is a Remington 870 Special Field Model 20 gauge. Well, hair number six is down. Chris just shot another one. So that brings us each to two hairs. I shot two, Don shot two, Chris shot two. Right where number five dropped um, after uh, Chris showed them the, the hair and everything, um, they started up another one, the dogs. And uh, anyway, it circled around five or six different times. It kept crossing like these little roads that I'm on. Um, we split up and uh, Chris just got it. So I apologize for not getting all these on camera, um, but we're having a pretty good day considering that the population has taken quite a beating over the past few years in uh, Nova Scotia. It's been a really brutal season that way. So I'm glad that we're getting some numbers and it's promising because I'm in some really good cover here and there's definitely lots of hairs. I've even seen some strays bouncing around and whatnot. So anyway, on to number seven, hopefully. Always pick up your empties. I don't know if I got him or not. Yeah, I got him. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Give me my rabbit solo. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Leia, solo down, down, down. Good dogs, good dogs. Ha <laughs> ha, that's number seven. <laughs> 